Hi, it's Lee from ColouringQueen.net with the latest colouring book by Japanese-born artist Aikuku, and it's called Mermaid in Dress. Now, this is a trade stock publication, meaning it's been printed on demand through Amazon's printing division Create Space. But originally, Aikuku had this, and I don't know that I pronounce her name correctly, as a Kickstarter campaign where she was trying to raise money to have this produced in an artist edition type format. And I backed that campaign and because I really love her artwork and uh, I was really disappointed, you know, for her and obviously for me when unfortunately it didn't reach its goal and she had to produce it in the same format as she'd produced her first two colouring books. If you're familiar with Aikuko, she usually does grayscale colouring books and you can see her surreal fantasy colouring book and her other one, which I've forgotten the name of, on my previous reviews for her. But it's usually grayscale, so this is her first just sole outline colouring book. So it's printed on single-sided pages with trade stock, white trade stock quality paper. There is no grey scale in it and the illustrations have a real sketchy hand-drawn feel to them with varying line weights and thicknesses throughout the book. Now she does do double pictures In this one they have a black back page and uh, that'll make sense when we go to that section. So we've got our gorgeous mermaids in a huge amount of different poses. And, you know, her artwork is really lovely. And if you're more used to outline artwork than the grayscale, you know, you'll have a lot of fun with this one, especially if you're a fan of mermaids. I really would have liked the Kickstarter, though, to take off, you know. I was super excited about that for her. So these are smaller, sort of more like journal pages. Now this one, you'll see the book colour changes. And these are all the repeat designs. But they don't have a black background. They've got a black reverse page. So basically, you've got the double designs just with a black page on the back. Which is her, uh, you know, signature style there. So the good thing about double pages for me is if you mess it up the first time round, you've still got a chance of making something beautiful on the second time around. And here's her first uh, two books. And then she's got Simple and Sweet, which is her other one. And this one is Mermaid in Dress that was going to be the artist edition version. There's a couple of blank pages at the back to use as a blotter or to test out your mediums. So that's it for Mermaid in Dress. Until next time, happy colouring.